This is getting over it. I've only played this for a couple of minutes. It was made by the person who made Quop. We got to get over it. It's it's fucked up. Here it is. So we're going to do a new game. Get ready for the best game concepts you've seen in years. Right? Right, so what, what you're wondering now... What is this? What is this game? What could it be? What is getting over it? Why was it made by the person who made Quop? And the answer is this. You're a dude in a cauldron with a sledgehammer and you have to get over a mountain by hurling yourself. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it's, it's surprisingly impressive for how stupid it is. Like, the tech is here. This is the 21st century of video games. We finally made it. It wasn't 4K HD graphics. It wasn't the fucking Wii remote. It wasn't VR! That's a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. Yeah, it kind of is. Who are you? There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Why do I have a commentary? Work the day before it was due, as I have. Or have you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute? Why is there a bogan? You want some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready yeah. for that, <laughs> yeah. you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. So if you're wondering how to play this game, it's just the mouse. Right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. Who is this Bogan, and why is he telling me these things? Oh! I mean, that's nice of him. It's not like I didn't have an... ...internal voice already telling me all this. In Australian, which is, as we all know, a different language... I like life lessons while I play frustrating games. But these physics have to be modeled this on real life. Oh, holy shit. That came out in oh! Oh! The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B are games you telling are me rough all this? assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly. My wrist to already hurts. Following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Oof. Sorry about that. Doesn't help, mate. Okay, we gotta. I'm, I'm a little stuck. Bogan, can you help me? Bogan, fucking. Hagen, mate, come on, get me over. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> okay, my wrist is beginning to hurt, so it's time to slow down a bit, which is the advice everyone's giving me anyway. So, how about that Szechuan sauce fiasco?
riots because people didn't get their Szechuan sauce. I had a number of people ask me if I if I got to taste the Szechuan sauce, and the answer is no. I wasn't gonna wait online for like four hours. No. What? Stupid, stupid, stupid. They should have. They should have had more of the sauce. They should have seen this coming, to be honest, because they should know better. One and the people being stupid, idiotic assholes should know better too. It's just a goddamn fucking nugget sauce. They yelled, "We want sauce." People got stabbed. There are people who got stabbed. Well, this is a good topic while I'm playing this game. Just frustration aligned with frustration. They did it on purpose. Yeah, it was a PR move, but they could have had, like... I think they would have done just fine had they just had plenty of sauce on hand. You know what makes me think of, speaking of Australians? We need 30,000 megatons. Do you know about that? I'm 30,000 megatons? I'll get- I'll get over there. Ooh. Yeah, Justin Roiland and anyone else on that team had nothing to do with it, by the way. They- they admitted as much. Apparently, this was all McBagbomb's fault. And, um... In fact, they don't even specifically mention the show in the promotion, because the show has... You know, there's murder. Uh, there's some pretty fucked up shit that happens in the show. I, I don't know if McBagbombs wants to align themselves with that kind of entertainment, necessarily, but they knew the opportunity was too good. They knew they would make some- some bank. So they- they were, like, super vague about the connection. Oh my god, that is horrendously frustrating. Oh. I still can't believe it's over a sauce. I mean, this is truly just- just... insanity. It really is insanity. Please don't stab each other. If I have to tell you that... You know, I don't really love... I, like, I don't really, um, watch all of his videos, but there's someone named I Hate Everything. And... He did a really good video about the show versus the fans. And he kind of sums it up. Like... You're- you're... You're not special for hating... The show. You're not special for being that much in love with the show that you're gonna stab someone over Szechuan sauce or scream wubba lubba dub dub at somebody. But you're also, you know, it's just, just enjoy the thing and then move on. Just move on. It's just, oh man. I mean, I guess I was aboard the hysteria train for a little while, so I can't really talk too much, but I, you know, I liked it and I wanted to share my love of it, but, uh, but I, I was, I luckily didn't stab anyone for sauce, so thank God I didn't get that far. Anyway, this game, you know, just get over it. Just fucking get over it. Sorry, this game is very frustrating. Oh my god! What? 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 Let's go. I miss the Australian guy. I, I, miss, <laughs> I miss him already. He was my one light in this world. Blade Runner review, yes. Blade Runner, uh, Rick, Red Letter Media liked it. 
Um, no surprise, the movie is bombing. I, I considered opening my review of it with this movie is going to bomb because it is it is not what modern audiences want. Um, but I, I kind of just mentioned that I didn't think it was going to do well in the theaters. But Jay said it was possibly the best sequel, like one of the best sequels ever made. I agree, because it, it, it does take a lot of what makes the original so great and, and makes it and expands and improves upon it in many ways. But, um, listen. I wouldn't want the movie to bomb. It's a good movie. But I guess I can't really help it if it does. I could tell you to go see it, but ultimately you know if you want to see it or not. I thought it was great. I did a review of it. It's on my Full Sauce channel. It, when I say review, it's just, um, a dipshit, aka me talking about a movie for 50 minutes. But I'm glad they liked it. I'm glad they enjoyed it. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Ooh, shit. Come on, get me up there. Get me up there. Ah! <laughs> Keep on trying. Don't let it go. <laughs> this game, this game is terrible. But I can't stop playing it. Come on, get me up there. The music is not going to calm me down. Come on. No. Whoop. Fuck! Yes! Yes! Get me up there, get me up there, get me up there, get me up there, get me up there. <laughs> this thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. A little bit more. I want to. I want to get a little bit more progress. At least. At least a little bit more. You know, this game is. This game is addictive. Believe it or not, I, I can't really explain it. But there's there's an addictive quality to this game, as M Night Shyamalan would say, a sticky quality. But I I, I really I don't want to be defeated. But it it makes me so angry. D that's not what I wanted to do at all. I wanted to just do the pogo. Come on, you fuck. Come on, you fuck. Oh! People ask me what's the version of Blade Runner they should watch. There are many different versions of Blade Runner. Not everyone will enjoy the movie. So don't go in expecting, like... It's gonna be amazing for you, but... Uh, the question was, which version should I choose? Watch the final cut, which is the most recent one. That came out in 2007. A lot of people have been tweeting me, asking me. And yes. Also, public service announcement. I am okay with you tweeting pictures of your homemade pizza to me. That I am okay with that. So feel free. No. No. Pogo. We're gonna pogo. We're gonna pogo this. There we go. 
Get me back up there. Get me back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, this fucking ore. I'm trying to be more methodical about this. But this game, this game does not obey the laws of physics. I hope you understand. My wrist hurts. This is, this is like... This is like an hour and a half of jerking the gherkin. Which is what you have to do if you want to get the gherkin into proper cooking form, as we all know. You have to massage the gherkin and get it ready for the for the stew. That is a nightmare. Getting up the side of that house. Okay, mouse sensitivity is down. Maybe this will help. You can Seems like it's helping. You need to change the mouse sensitivity. Yeah, I know, man. I know, man. I just want to get to the barrels. At least let me get to the barrels. Then we can do other things and, and explore and have adventures! This is the next week of the stream. Adventures for us to see. You're on the stream tonight. Adventures, many adventures. <laughs> Emergency stress relief music deployed. Physics, please. I think it's real easy to like know what to do until you play the game. So please, by all means, I encourage anyone that can find this game, pick it up, play it, try it, experience it for yourself so you can know the suffering. We're gonna do the pogo. There it is. In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of the game. It's We're still talking about sexy hiking. Found in recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. If you need to like take that? a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Please. 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 <laughs> Please. <laughs> no.
Man. I'm being defeated. I'm being defeated by this mountain right now. Uh. I need I need my own encouragement. I'm sorry. I need to I need to bring up a video. I need to bring up, bring up something. Captain Kirk is climbing El Cap. But not only climbing, he's free climbing. Free climbing is without ropes, without any uh, uh, securing devices at all. Hands and toes climbing up this granite, seeking energy, strength, and toe and finger holds up 30... Come on. 3,000, almost 4,000 feet high in the air. One misstep, and it's and 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 he and, and they fall. Free climbers fall. <laughs> the first scene in the film. The soul yeah. would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Van Guest Chaney. star Cyber <laughs> rides in on a polluted planet, which he has to breathe through a breathing device because everything is so polluted, and seeks what? to convert. A oh. follow up to his what? The next scene, essentially the opening scene. <laughs> Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Why? I fall off and since I wrote Yosemite, Captain Kirk, free climbing. I, I thought often, why did I come up with that idea? And I had no idea. I had for the longest time I I, I, I had no uh, understanding of the subconscious of picking free climbing, which I've never done. In, I, yeah. I'm fearful of heights. Uh, me, me too. The, 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 my worst nightmare, as many people's are, is falling. Yeah. And I me too, Captain Kirk. I found it hard to look over the edge of anything, two story down, let alone three thousand, four thousand feet. And Come then, on, get me up there. understand within the context of the film, in real life, what that climb meant. What does it mean, Captain Kirk? What does it mean? The deal now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. To reach higher than yourself. Man and this human being, uh, Kirk, representing all of man, climbing higher than himself. There's a line uh, in the scene, I, I wish to make this ascent, he says. I'm making an ascent. The meaning of that line, obvious now, taken out of context. Free climbers challenge the rock. Do they? Challenge themselves. They are at one with the law. They become part of the law. There is reason to believe that law is alive. The crystal formations and the crystal growing, there's reason to think that if crystal can recreate itself, that's one of the criteria of life. And climbers believe that granite is alive, and they get energy from the granite. Ooh, I feel within me a peace above Eons all earthly dignities, a sun. still and quiet this conscience. Can be William Shakespeare is alive, and so they William Shatner. Body, seeking to be part of a living body, as far as uh, climb to the top, uh, challenging death, and thereby gaining life. And that's what I thought Kirk would be doing. And we treat it in a funny, in a comical fashion. Ten more minutes. That's it. There is great Ten more minutes. Scene. And and that was the reason I discovered for myself that Kirk is on the mountain. And the only place he could be was Yosemite. Because That's this it. is the Mecca. That's the, That's the place. For climbers. Is it? From all over the world. Friends of mine who've been on that uh. mountain over there have said they have been climbing and have heard languages from all over the world and not heard English. Wow. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? To hug the mountain. To envelop that mountain with hug the mountain. To envelop that mountain with hug the mountain. That mountain, that mountain. He wants to make love to the mountain. <laughs> Tough young guys, sinewy bodies in there. 
fingers. Teeny toes challenge the rock. Challenging death. It's so much better when it's out of context. Because I'm in love. There is a passionate affair going on between the Kirk and the mountain. Kirk is on the Kirk is on the mountain. Now, in order to create that illusion, we're sucking some of the most sensational men who not only climb but voracious, fleeting and elusive and peripheral. And that's putting me on the mountain. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Come Captain on. Kirk is climbing Just a little a bit more. Why is he climbing a mountain? Captain truly Kirk the worst. Is climbing a mountain. Why truly is the worst a Sunday stream. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. You cannot now believe that you will ever find the mountain. But this is not <laughs> enveloping. You're sure to be happy again. The and knowing this, to and truly believing it, that mountain will make you less miserable uh, now. Abraham that mountain. That mountain. He wants to make love to the mountain. And the climb is going where no man has gone before. Is it? Where no man has gone before. Yeah. Yeah. Challenge the rock. Yeah. Challenging death. I'm trying, Captain Kirk. Because I'm in love. That's really insightful. It's really good, thank you, William Shatner. I appreciate that. What the fuck is this song? Oh, that's Charlie Sheen, okay. That's that was some that was some memeage. Okay, now 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 I can just be spiritual. I can be I can make love to the mountain with the sinew. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. Trash. And there's a sense of truth in that's, that that's lack of me. compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. The obstacles in sexy hiking are actually <laughs> and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new mountain, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach <laughs> that turns those mountains into something real. Get, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I I, I see my goal. It's like it, uh, just a little bit above the trash. I can do this. I can do this. My palms are sweaty. I'm sweaty. How the fuck is this game doing this to me? This is a Sunday stream. It's supposed to be chill. Unfortunately, this is the rest of the stream for tonight. Sorry, everybody. Weird Sanix is delayed yet again. With It's with apologies to Weird Sanix that I have to delay it. No, I'm, I'm actually, I'm joking. For real? Just 
five more minutes. Just five more minutes. Five more minutes. I got this. God. God. Fuck. Did we get? Did we get bingo yet? Did we get bingo yet? <laughs> Every time someone complains that Weird Sanix isn't happening, it gets delayed another week. I'm taking note. I have a bot. I have a bot as accurate as the YouTube copyright bot on the case. This is it right here. I'm gonna do it. I got this. This is why Kirk climbs the mountain. There we go. There we fucking go. There we go. Not to fuck this one up. <laughs> Get me into the trash corner, please. Yeah. 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 When's that nice Australian guy gonna come back and tell me it's gonna be okay? <laughs> Here it is, this is the last attempt. Last attempt. <laughs> I hate this game! My ten minutes are up. No, 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 I had it, I had it. Watch. Watch, watch this. Watch this! I got this, now I do this. Alright, and then there's a... Pogo stick here. Like that. Gonna go position. Very good. But now how do I do this? How do I do that I from there? Raven cry. I am not there. I did not die. Mary Fry. I didn't- yeah, I didn't die. I'm still going, I'm still going. I got my five more minutes. I got my five minutes. They haven't expired just yet. To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Friedrich Nietzsche. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we will return with a surprise, and then Weird Sanix. 